Hey what's up guys this is Wasi from flamelinevisualeffects.com and welcome to my brand new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to create trendy logo animation inside of Adobe After Effects so let's see what we will create today. If you are new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and leave a like if you enjoy this video. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so first create a new composition. Let's call it main. And as always, I'm going with 1920 1080p, frame rate 30 and duration 10 seconds, then hit OK. Okay, now import our project files. You can download full project files from link in the description box below. Now select our logo, then place it into this timeline. Now make it smaller like this then right click then choose pre-compose select mobile attributes and rename it to logo then click on ok now go to effect and preset window and search for vegas now select this effect and apply onto this layer now segment set it to and uh, change the blend mode to transparent now go to beginning of this animation, set a keyframe on length and rotation, length value set it 0, then go to around 2 seconds, then length value set it 1 and increase the rotation to 180 degree. Now width set it 34, hardness set it 1, start opacity set it 0, midpoint opacity set it 1 and midpoint position set it point triple nine okay let's change the color you can choose any color you want now go to beginning of this animation set a keyframe on width then go to around one second 12 frames and width value set it seven now select this logo then press u on your keyboard now select all these keyframes then press F9 to make them easy ease. Now select these two keyframes then open graph editor and then simply change the graph curve to something like this. Perfect. Now select this layer then hold down shift then press S. Now go to beginning of this animation set a keyframe on scale and scale value set it 160 then go to around here and scale value set it 100 then go forward few frames then scale value set it 0 now select all this keyframe then press f9 open graph editor and then simply change the graph curve to something like this looks good to me okay let's turn on motion blur for this layer by clicking here okay now go to project window now create a new composition let's call it logo reflection and hit ok now select our studio reflection image and then place it into this timeline make it smaller like this and add first box blur blur radius set it 50 then add motion tile on it increase the output width and output height then click on mirror edges now go to beginning of this animation, set a keyframe on title center, then go to end of this animation and increase this X value like this. Now go to project window and select our gradient background, then place it into this timeline, then simply change this layer mode to color. Now select this two layer, then right click, then choose pre-compose, 
then select mobile attributes and rename it to map then hit ok now select our logo comp then place it into this timeline now select this map layer then change this layer track mat layer to logo now go to effect and preset window and search for cc blobby lies now select this effect and apply onto this layer then go to blobbiness blob layer set it logo property set it alpha softness set it 5 and cut away set it 0 looks good to me now go to project window then go to our main composition then select our logo reflection comp then place it into this timeline now drag this layer few frames forward now make this layer 3d by clicking here now create a camera so right click new then click on camera then hit ok now press p set a keyframe on position select this uh, keyframe and move it forward like this then simply increase the z value now select this two keyframe then press f9 then open graph editor and then simply change the graph curve to something like this looks good to me now select this logo reflection layer then go to effect and preset window and search for cc radial first blur and apply onto this layer now set a keyframe on uh, amount set it 80 then go forward few frames then amount set it 0 then again go to effect and preset window and search for optics compensation then select this effect then apply onto this layer field of view set it uh, 145 then click here to reverse lens distortion now set a keyframe on field of view then go forward few seconds and then value set it 0 now press U on your keyboard select all keyframes then press f9 to make them easy ease looks good to me okay let's create a null object so right click new then click on null object now select our logo reflection layer then paint it to node 1 now go to around 2 second 15 frames then select our node 1 then press p on your keyboard set keyframe on position go forward few seconds then change the position like this select this to keyframe then press f9 open graph editor and then change the graph curve to something like this perfect now create a text so right click new then click on text then type your text here let's make it smaller
now simply select this um, uh, text layer then paint it to null 1 Now go to around uh, 2 second 15 frames, then press T on your keyboard. Set a keyframe on opacity, opacity value set it 0, then go forward few frames, then value set it 100. Now select these two keyframe, then press F9. Perfect. Okay, let's create an adjustment layer. Now add deep glow. Radius set it to 1000 and exposure set it 0 0.50. And at the end add noise on it. noise value set it 10 perfect let's trim this composition our animation is complete let's ramp preview this thank you very much for watching this tutorial have a great day and if you have any questions then do let me know in the comment for now stay safe and i will catch you later bye bye